But Blunt showed that he's not afraid to put that ball on the floor and make a move. And here comes the press. Matching up with Buford, looking to pick off any long pass. Jalen Rose doubled up, gets it over to Howard, and a steal right away. Van Exel. Jim Van Exel's had a great NCAA tournament, and what he did there is what he does so well when he penetrates. He used his body to lean in on Howard, who is an excellent shot blocker. But here it is, the first time they turn the ball over on Jalen Rose. Juwan Howard cannot get to it, and here comes quickness. Van Exel takes it right to the hoop. Howard, who's quick for a big man. Now watch this lean in. He takes the ball right into Howard and then makes it impossible for him to block it. Weber comes right out of it and it's stolen away from him. Cincinnati will score for the first time on a slam dunk. What's made this team so great is their ability to go ahead and press out of any situation. That was a missed field goal at the tally. And King. punched up ahead to King. Jones, oh, he's lucky Van Exel hustled also. Jones takes it into the second row of photographers. Buford, three-pointer. Inch or so away from being able to have a layup. Yeah, Van Exel really made a play there coming back down, Billy. Now watch this. They're trying to match up a little bit. Nice play by Martin. Martin denying. Jones on the break. And he'll shoot two. Stone out a little bit. They've got the break. This will tie it at 27. Terrence Gibson with the layup. Michigan has been thrown out of, thrown out of sync with this press. Martin again getting past Weber. Short on the off the glass. And that was Blunt that was up there to keep the ball alive. Offensive. They got him with the elbow. Howard. One of the things that Bob Huggins has done with the press is that can attack you at any time. It attacks on missed shots. It attacks on made shots, Mr. Made foul shots. Now watch this right here. They stay right with the press. Normally, and a good call by the official, normally a team would break down at that point and get back on defense, but Cincinnati keeps it right in your face. The Michigan players are going to have to get used to that, throw the ball backwards, get in the hands of their guards as quickly as they can. And here comes Trapping But again. He read that one all the way. Van Exel. Jalen Rose starting to get annoyed, I think, out here in the fact that he's not had the ball in his hands, which is exactly what Cincinnati wanted to do to this club. There he is. Get the ball back out to the man that can get something accomplished. Check out the defense. Matching up in the zone. Oh, they deny it again and take it away. Martin will wait. Not good spacing there, Jim. Jalen threw that ball from so far out in the low post against quicker people. Buford, beautiful for Buford. Now that's a young man from Flint, Michigan that wasn't recruited by one Big Ten school. He's got a little bit to prove today. So it didn't look to get that ball quickly up the floor. Taking away some of their confidence on transition. Oh, he read that in perfectly. Herb Jones. Jim, no authority on the passing. Steve Fisher may have to go back to that starting lineup because Cincinnati has taken Jalen Rose out of this game. Rose, the trigger man. Ah, he didn't know what Blunt. a block by Blunt. He didn't know Blunt was behind him. Oh. Oh. And Axel blows right by Weber. Gave a little hesitation dribble and Weber bit on it. You can see that. Michigan players getting a little annoyed with each other, Jim. Howard. He'll shoot two. Look at some of the expressions on the faces of the Michigan kids. And maybe more than expression. First time we've seen this in this team. Going back to that Indiana game where they played so positively. Of course, in the tournament. Now they're starting to question themselves. You can see that. You're right, Billy.